Hey guys, let us continue with our world history series. We are uh, today we'll cover the Russian Revolution topic. So, what is the definition of Russian Revolution? Series of economic and social upheavals involving overthrow of Tsarist autocracy and establishment of Soviet power under the control of Bolshevik party. So, this is the definition of Russian Revolution. So, many social and economic upheavals happened which uh, involved even overthrow of the Tsarist autocracy and establishment of Soviet power under the control of Bolshevik party. So this Tsarist party is from Romanov family. Now we will look at the background. In 1860s, Crimean war was uh, taking place. Then we also saw the Germany and Italy unification. Then what happened? Serbdom, that is slaves of landlord. That system was abolished by the Tsar. Then serbdom liberated, but no land on their own for them. Though they were liberated, but they cannot do employment on their own. Therefore, in 1880, Tsar Alexander II, so he was the king, he made some reforms, which were not satisfying to the people. Then what happened? He bombarded and killed he was bombarded by the people. Then his son, Tsar Nicholas came. In revenge, he take place all reforms by his uh, dad. So, he took back all the reforms, small reforms done by Tsar Alexander too. So, the situation became even worse now. Now, what happened? In 1905, bloody Sunday happened. What? In which Tsar Nicholas in winter, uh, he was in winter palace, people rounded and people were killed. So Tsar Nicholas too depended on his uh, wife Alexandra. She was dependent on Rasputin. So uh, Rasputin was a bad monk. So what happened? This led to creation of Duma which is the parliament of Russia. So this is the, uh, this marks the black, sorry, bloody Sunday. Tsar Nicholas, he took revenge and he uh, took back all the reforms by his dad. He was dependent on wife Alexander. She was dependent on Rasputin. So all these led to big tragedy again. Then what, uh, this is how Russian revolution emerged. Now what are the causes for it? First is peasant poverty. Though serfdom was abolished, but land was not given to them. Therefore, uh, after World War I, inflation of goods also increased. Then growing and politized urban workforce. They have low wage and then working conditions were not proper. Then lack of representation and autocracy was there. 300 years of rule. But the Dumax was ineffective. Then it alienated the military. Alienated military, military was there. In 1917, people protested against the king. Then, World War I. It showed the poor leadership, uh, leadership skill of Tsar getting exhibited by World War I. Then, what happened? It is called February Revolution. What is February Revolution 1917? It happened in 1917. Women will protest uh, along with the people pe and peasant. Meantime, in India, in 1917 and 18, what was happening? Champaran Satyagraha and Kela Satyagraha was happening in India. In space, Gandhiji to bring women into picture. So, seeing this February revolution only, Gandhi got inspired and he involved women also into the Indian movement. Then what happened? Tsar Nicholas updates. That is, he resigns. Then provisional government was formed. So, the uh, liberals. So, the liberals are forming the government. See here, the Bolsheviks leader is Lenin. He is out of station at that time. So, the liberals formed the government and they wanted to help Britain and France in World War I. So, this is how 
the alliance formed in world war 1 and who was the pm alexander kerensky now next what happened was october revolution 1917 lenin out gave an outstanding speech after his return this time lenin was out of station when they were forming the government so after returning he gave a speech then provisional government not working in people interests he showed the shortcomings of provisional government that led to october revolution in which the tsar family was assassinated fully then what happened army with the mob then european powers were at war lenin was considered as an able leader now next what happened was bolshevik rule that was lenin came to power election uh, results were announced social revolutionaries they got 370 seats bolsheviks they came to power because they got 175 uh, seats lenin with his red army would dissolve the parliament then menshevik they got only 15 seats so finally who is coming to power only the bolshevik that is lenin because he can even dissolve the parliament with his red army now there is fight between red versus white so red is supported by people who are supporting vladimir lenin leon Trans- trotsky then why the tsar like uh, tsar alexander for them uh, uk then france are helping this led to communist rule established by lenin which led to establishment of ussr so this is how ussr was formed after the revolution which was formed by lenin lenin played a major role here then we had this new economic policy 1921 so in this peasants allowed to keep the surplus then small industry and trade in their products were also restored to private ownership then we had this electrification of industry so what was happening uh, in, in the new economic policy peasants were allowed to keep their surplus small industries and their product were also restored to private ownership then electrification was given to the industry these are the economic policy then what is the impact of russian revolution after the revolution there was auto, uh, overthrow of autocracy and then destruction of aristocracy so it boosted the confidence to colonies like india in india it inspired poet tamil poet like bharatiyar were inspired because of this Rus- russian revolution then what happened right to work so this means informa- uh, information in india and constitution so uh, right to work was given so indian constitution also adopted this one right to work then first revolution with socialistic society as objective this is the first revolution with socialistic society as objective then what is the next impact uh, this co- this was quoted by karl marx that a nation which enslaves other nation can never be free then what was the effect on india as our constitution's preamble stands today we are to be a secular and socialistic republic so russia it became uh, especially the socialistic principle of russia it became the inspiration and it also become a friend for india also the principle justice that a social economic and political justice is also inspired from russia then what happened after lenin's death so after lenin's death joseph stalin came to power so during this time what happened press was bond banned then opposition was annihilated then dissent was there on the concentration camp to kill them then war communism to be established collectivization of land 
five year plan started during stalin's period in russia this is also inspired india we have we had this planning commission and five year plans so this is also inspired from russia this increase in this industrialization in russia now what is the impact on so these are the things which happened during stalin period now the impact in india what was it it inspired gandhi to involve masses then justice the concept from russian revolution it became a major part of our constitution then fire planning these are the things we adopted from russia now the question can be the nep that this national economic policy 1921 of lenin had influenced the policies adopted by india soon after independence evaluate so this is the question for practice so in which we can talk about india's fire plan the first fire plan it focused on agriculture then in the second one mahalano based plan it was focusing on heavy industrialization then we also followed the electrification so these are this is how we can tell the answer for this particular question so that's all for today thank you